All right, this is the Predator 8750 inverter generator, and she's due for an oil change. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn it on for a little bit. That way it gets a little bit warm and the oil gets thin enough to drain out faster. I've been using this generator. It's already hit at like a hundred and something hours and it's been working perfectly with no, you know, no problems at all so far. Pull the choke out. I know it had a code on here that said like P121 or something flashing. I'll have to look that up later. I think that just goes off and it's like reminding you to do maintenance. I'm not sure. But in order to drain the oil, you have this little extension that comes off the block. It's a 10 millimeter nut or bolt. All you gotta do is loosen it. Or I guess technically it's a plug. Yeah, even though I went way over, that oil doesn't look that bad, really. I'm not going to worry about it. But yeah, I'm going to sit there and let it drain until it's barely dripping. Can't even see it. I'll be back in a little bit. The owner's, the owner's manual said to go ahead and uh, tip it up like this so that way it drains better. It's not even dripping anymore. Okay, so I ran this thing 121 hours. But I did change it after the break-in. It's supposed to be like 25 hours. So I changed it at 25. And according to the manual, you're supposed to change it every 50 hours. So I did pretty much double what you're supposed to. And at 100 hours, it says to check the air filter. It's right there on the side. It has one nut at the bottom to take it out. My air filter looks clean enough. Alright, so I set it back kind of level. I'm going to put the plug back in it. And tighten it. Hopefully you saved your little funnel and tube that came with it because this would be pretty hard to fill without it. So it takes, it says 1.1 quarts. So I'd pour one quart in there and then check it. And then when you start on the second quart, barely put any because it'll, it'll already start to overflow pretty fast. I'm using 1030 because that's what it says according to the temperature I'm in. It says to use 1030. I'm not sure what that code was. I'll just have to look it up later and post it in the description if I could find it. But I looked through the whole manual and I couldn't find any of the troubleshooting codes. So that's already one quart. On the manual, it says whenever you check this to not screw it in, to just put it in and see the level. And see, I'm actually, it's actually kind of good. But I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more. Just to make it as full as possible. And there, it's already running out. See, I shouldn't even have done that. 
but I've already discovered that when it's running, barely running out, and it's actually, you know, still good. See what I mean? Yeah, it's a little bit overflowed, but when you do yours, make it perfect. I'm, I'm good with that. It'll be all right. Now we're done. I think it'll be fine even though I kind of went way past the recommended time to change the oil. I think it'll be all right, but just be careful because that thing will sneak up on you. Anyway, if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please like and subscribe to the end.